Good morning my darlings and welcome to a brand new vlog. It is a gorgeous sunny Sunday morning and for the first time in a long time we are actually not doing a Sunday roast here today. We are heading to a friend's house for a Thanksgiving, Canadian Thanksgiving roast which is going to be a lot of fun. I thought I would try um, using my heated rollers for a little bit of volume on day three hair and it just has gone completely wrong <laughs> so I'm probably going to end up with my hair scraped back for the rest of the day but I thought I would just head into the garden and um, pick some flowers for a little bit of table decoration. Always nice to take some fresh blooms over when invited to someone's house for lunch so I'm going to get some from the garden. My sweet little chicken nugget is already sunbathing. We've just had some nice toast for breakfast so Dexie and Dickie have had a portion as well and look what a glorious day it is I think I'm gonna snip some anemones and what else these I think these are called chocolate cosmos and they last really well in a vase oh my goodness I've just noticed that my liquid amber tree is starting to change colour. This is the tree that Charlie's family got me for my 30th birthday, 30th birthday gift, with the very lovely thought that on my birthday, which is next month in November, these liquid amber trees look their best because as you can see, it's this one here by the way, the leaves are changing colour so for my birthday it should be in full colourful display. This is quite a Canadian looking tree, they almost look a little bit like maple leaves. Absolutely beautiful. Let's see if any more walnuts have fallen. I was watching walnut videos, <laughs> how tragic, um, while I was putting my hair into rollers earlier and apparently once they fall on the ground they're actually not good but all of the ones that I've collected are ones which have fallen on the ground, so we shall see. I would need a ladder if I was to pluck them from the actual tree canopy. This is an angle of the kitchen garden that you don't normally see, but we've got a load of anemones here behind the water fountain. It's so warm, I think I might actually have to change my outfit. Today's roast is going to be somewhat of a joint effort, so we're taking a big chunk of beef which we got from our village butchers. Charlie's got some bits here for the trivet and a giant hispy cabbage. And I think Robin has made no less than three different desserts for our Canadian Thanksgiving roast. So very much looking forward to heading there. We're going to be leaving here shortly. Charlie is just um, currently emptying out his wardrobe because he's decided that he would really love his wardrobe room to be green <laughs> instead of blue. Um, so Andrew, we've got him booked in for a little while. He's gonna be repainting it next week. So Charlie's got to empty that all out today before Andrew arrives tomorrow. But anyway, we need to leave in five minutes, but earlier this morning while I was having my morning coffee and my breakfast, I filmed a little um, nail, not really tutorial, but like, do my gel nails at home with me using my manicurist green flash and they came out really really nicely so I'm probably going to do a little bit of a voiceover and um, show you how I did them. Okay my darling, something that I really want to do this morning slash need to do and have mentally blocked out time to do is my nails. Ever since Walnut Gate I took off my old gel, um, cut my nails super short, a lot of them are pretty broken um, and now finally I'm going to add some lovely colour using my manicurist green flash um, at home gel kit which I keep everything in here so I'm going to do a little bit of pampering so you've probably heard me talking about manicurist before it's the way that I do my gel nails at home it's a really wonderful brand it's actually um, it's a French brand the products are all hence the name green flash green so no nasty chemicals they actually use manicurist green flash range at the Bamford Spa at Dalesford 
They are organic nail colours. Um, they go on and they last like a gel. You can do your entire manicure in 20 minutes at home. They've got some gorgeous colours. I've got some of their new September autumn colours here. I'm really, really tempted by this gorgeous terracotta colour. And yet they come off just like normal nail varnish. So really super easy to do it yourself and really super easy to take them off as well. They also have done a collaboration this month for October with a French charity called Ruben Rose and a lot of their beautiful pink colours and they do pinks so so well. Um, the profits for that collection are going to the charity which helps to research breast cancer. So here's my lovely collection. You need numbers one and three which is your base coat and your top coat um, and then you need to choose one of your colours. These are all vegan nail polishes and the ingredients are up to 84% plant-based which is quite incredible so if you are looking for a more clean manicure that you can do super easily at home then could not recommend this any more highly and of course lasts up to 10 days, like a an in-salon gel manicure. What colour to choose? I'm, I keep going back to this beautiful terracotta colour. We have got Thanksgiving at lunch today and I feel like that would be very appropriate. And then maybe I can do a little dot of nail art in the brown, very autumnal, but because it's so easy to remove, um, it comes off with a non-acetone nail varnish remover, just like, just like normal. Um, if you decide it's something that you want to switch around regularly, then that's super duper easy. So without further ado, I prepped my nails yesterday. I slept with this lovely balm nourishing my cuticles. Let's, let's get started. So I just did a tiny bit more nail prep with my big chunky nail file and then started off with number one, which is the base coat and set this using the at-home UV lamp. Then I decided to try out loads of the different autumnal nail colours from the Green Flash collection to decide which one I wanted to go with. I ended up thinking that the orange, the terracotta was a little bit too bold for the outfits that I've got planned for the week and ended up falling in love with this beautiful brown shade but I also loved the bronze, so ended up deciding to do a little bit of a very subtle nail art. I set that down, tried another colour, the poppy seed colour, which is such a beautiful kind of muted purple shade. But then I used the polish remover to take them all off again to do my final manicure. And it's so easy to take off the green flash uh, nail colours. You just hold the cotton pad on the nail for a matter of seconds, and I find that it comes off very similarly to regular nail varnish, which is super duper easy. So then we moved to the lounge and I started to do the proper manicure. So once again, starting off with the first nail polish for that lovely base coat, uh, just being very careful to get that on as smooth as possible, and then setting with the UV light. Then I used the lovely deep brown shade, I'll leave the exact name on the screen here, for my base colour. And I did just two coats of this on each hand. Then I took this little dotting tool with the bronze shade and just did a very subtle little dot, super easy, on the uh, nail bed of each nail. Set that down before going back in with the top coat number three. This entire manicure probably took me 25 minutes, including the colour experimentation at uh, the beginning. And then they've got this very handy little pen, which is great for any little touch-ups. And this is the finished result. I absolutely love it. So beautifully autumnal and pretty and so easy to do at home. I have gone for a fail-safe autumnal cosy outfit of the day. Whenever you have a roast, whether it's at your house or a friend's house, you just want to make sure that you are super comfy cosy. So this is my outfit of the day. Let's see if my hair is going to behave now that it's been out of the heated rollers for a little while. It just seems to curl in just the weirdest weirdest ways but I have got this lovely knitted dress from Fat Face. Um, it's a lovely deep kind of olivey green colour which I think is such a beautiful shade and thank goodness it is not itchy. I do find sometimes that jumper dresses can be a little bit itchy whereas this one thankfully is really nice and soft on the skin but my favourite part of this outfit are the boots. So these are from the wonderful brand which I introduced you to a couple of months ago now called Vivaya. You can see they quite sexy <laughs> they come up um, above the knee and I couldn't quite believe it when I first unboxed these. Um, I'll show you down here because it's a little bit more clear what the actual material is like. If you were to imagine they're kind of woolen, like a really thick and supportive pair of socks. So as you might be able to imagine they are quite literally the most comfortable pair of boots you could 
ever dream of wearing. Um, doesn't even feel like I'm wearing boots, it feels like I'm just wearing a snuggly, warm, supportive pair of socks. And what is so magical is that these boots are actually water repellent. Charlie was like, Jose, I don't think those boots are appropriate if we're going to be walking around Ben and Robin's garden. Um, but actually, they are water resistant so any liquid will just bounce off these which I think is absolutely incredible. They've got a very delicate little heel, not too high, perfect for all day wear. But they do come in a few different colours but I thought that this brown was definitely the most versatile for my wardrobe. I'm gonna see if by brushing out the curls it might lessen the craziness of the hairstyle that I've gone for today. Um, but yeah, the Vaya <laughs> No, it's just going to be a mad hair day. The Vaya is one of those brands. Um, actually, when I first mentioned it here on the YouTube channel, a lot of you guys had already heard about them and knew about all the amazing things that they do. They strive to use recycled materials as much as possible, and I just cannot even explain to you how comfortable they are. They're not too tight. I actually find they're very flattering. They seem to be very leg elongating and have quite a slimming effect to them. And if you're wearing a boxy jumper dress like this one, I think it's nice to have something a little bit more form-fitting down at the bottom so you feel a little bit more, a little bit more feminine and elegant. And I read on their website there's something special, excuse this vista, um, but there's something special about the lining of these where it's meant to keep you warm, um, but also keep bacteria away. I remember when I first discovered Vivaya, I've got the, the lovely mules, um, I just found that they were so comfortable and sorry to be gross, but didn't get smelly after wearing them for a whole day, even on a really, really hot summer's day. And sometimes in my boots, you can feel a little bit like stuffy in them, uh, like you just can't wait to take your boots off. Whereas these are just super comfortable and breathable. So I also ordered another pair of their flats. I think these are called the Michelle flats. Um, they are the super super bendy ones so if you are trying to cram them in a suitcase or something they're ultra flexible which as you can imagine means they're also very very comfortable to wear these are made from six recycled plastic water bottles which i think is just absolutely incredible they're one of these brands that i feel like they've just really thought about everything so they've got a non-slip sole um i think it's 3d printed yarn and that's what makes them so soft and so comfortable if you do get them a bit mucky or you just want to freshen them up a little bit, you can stick them in the washing machine, which for me is just an absolute game changer. So these ones are also very leg elongating. I find that with a pointed toe, that always gives the illusion of longer legs and they've got the cute little bow detail. Um, but there's so many on their website. A lot of you guys sent me their Dachshund flat shoes, which I think are absolutely adorable. But I always think that if you go with something that is neutral in color, um, then it goes with loads of your different outfits. So if I was wearing jeans or a longer dress then these would be my footwear of choice but today I thought the boots went perfectly with this outfit of the day let me try and show you from this angle don't know if you'll be able to see quite so clearly but you can really tell how like slim slim fit they are some boots um, ask you to measure your calves so that they can get the fit absolutely perfect but the way that these have been created with the wool with the wool yarn it just fits absolutely perfectly. Right, what are we going to do with the hair? It's just gonna be a big wild hair day. Okay, so with the top part of my hair pinned back, it doesn't look too bad. Just very voluminous. I've popped on my lovely Holland Cooper cape and I feel like this is just such a perfect autumn outfit. It looks very chic, but it feels very cozy, which is a winner winner roast beef dinner. Just wanted to show you how many walnuts are still here from the Luz tree. There are so many. She's going to come out here with a basket now and play squirrel. You have to make sure you put gloves on though, Lilla. It really does. I found out the hard way. Ginormous. Absolutely ginormous. Oh, wow. They're huge.
Good morning, darlings. It is now Monday morning. We had the most glorious afternoon yesterday with Ben and Robin, having our Thanksgiving roast. We've started a little bit of a new friend tradition where whenever the four of us are together, we always all chip in to do the roast. So obviously whoever's house it is, they are the boss, um, but we all chipped in. Charlie was helping with the meat, I did the cauliflower cheese, Robin was taking the lead and she is now officially the queen of roast potatoes. I will hand her the crown, the crown was never mine to give, but she is officially the queen of roast potatoes. Um, and Ben was very good at grating the cheese, so it was a, and many more things. It was a glorious day and then it started raining, so we just had a cosy afternoon by the fire. So a really, really glorious afternoon. I've started my Monday morning in the usual way. I've just done Alex's 8.30 a.m. reformer Pilates class. I actually washed my hair at um, at the club because, not the club, the club is not open yet, um, in the changing rooms because I might go to um, Burford later. When we're at Dalesford, we're kind of halfway to Burford, so I'm gonna have a look around the garden centre here. If they have everything that I need here at Dalesford, then I won't go to Burford. Um, but I want to get some autumn and winter interest for the cut flower garden now that lots of the dahlias are starting to finish and the second the frosts come they will completely go it's going to be looking a bit bare down there so Jack recommended some hellebores um, and generally stuff that you find in garden centres will be in season so hopefully anything that they've got here and at Burford will be good for winter and I also want to pick up a few more bits, <laughs> that lighting has gone very cold and grey, I want to pick up a few more bits for our autumn porch. So that's the plan for today. I've just plugged <laughs> my car in to the electric charger and I'm here at Dalesford so often that my <laughs> maps has now allocated Dalesford as my workplace. <laughs> I'm such a regular that my map thinks that I work here. That is hilarious. Um, so let's, I use the Podpoint app. There we go. Here comes the sun. Am I socket A or socket B? I don't want to pay for someone else's charging. <laughs> I'm socket A, confirm charge. I've got a feeling that they may have made electric charging free here because I didn't just put in my payment details and yet it's working. Yay! Right, enough chit chat. I don't need to take my makeup bag into the shop with me or my toothbrush <laughs> or my torch. Charlie got me this little torch um, which I now keep in my handbag because I've said it before but every time but since I had laser eye surgery, my eyes are just no good in the dark. So I have to have a torch everywhere when it starts to get to dusk. Anyway, let's go. Oh, little bunny rabbits. Boxing hairs. Charlie and I are very interested in this tree. He saw it last time he was here, but we thought it would have sold by now. Um, it is incredible value, £250. Let me tell you, trees are expensive and especially established trees. Um, so yeah, this is a very good price for a liquid amber tree. For one this big, obviously I cannot get this in the car with me. I'm gonna ask if um, they would deliver. It's been a while since I had a little look around the greenhouse. They've got lots of squash in the crates, lots of little, they geraniums pansies starting to grow. to drive away with my electric wire still plugged in that would have been very embarrassing 
mission accomplished i've got some salads for lunch um i have got my oat milk chai latte although i keep hearing from loads of different people that oat milk is really bad for your digestion and bloating but you know what i just don't think i'm willing to sacrifice oat milk so i think i'm just gonna have to live with that um what else was i going to report back to you also got the liquid amber tree you might be thinking josie i can't believe you just on a whim bought a tree um but actually charlie came here last week and saw it and wanted to confirm with me that it was okay to get it and we both discussed that it was such a good price that we didn't think it would still be here um but it is so i think it was at the very beginning of this vlog wasn't it that i showed you the liquid amber that we've currently got in our garden um that always looks its best around my birthday so now we'll have another one i think we're going to put it out by the old door of the house where we currently have a big hydrangea and the hydrangea is currently too big for its pot and hydrangeas prefer to be in the ground because they need so much water um, and this tree because it's so tall you'll be able to see it from the gold bedroom which we're going to rename the garden bedroom <laughs> because there's nothing gold in it yeah you'll be able to see it from that window so i think it's a really good purchase and before i moved to the cotswolds i had no idea how expensive trees were and now we do <laughs> because we've planted so many in our garden um, and so I'm quite confident that that is a very good deal. If you hadn't shown me the price label, knowing what I what I know now about trees, I would have said that that is at least probably a £900 tree that they're selling here for £250. Mind blowing. So they're going to deliver it later in the week. Um, right. It's such a glorious day. I don't want to go home <laughs> and just sit and work which is what I would normally do on a Monday. So I am going to have a little road trip to Dales, um, I'm at Dalesford to... Okay, big shoes and, and no naked women present. Like, they're, they're, they're small, tiny shoes. Take a to Burford, I'm listening right, to Should I Delete This a podcast the weather, from Em and Alex, and it is hilarious. <laughs> Sometimes things just don't play. Burford. <laughs> Um, Garden Company, oh, yeah, I feel for her. 20 I mean, minutes, <laughs> everywhere in the Cotswolds is 20 minutes, okay let's go. Burford I've come straight to the home section and I rather love these tea towels. I think they're very pretty autumnal colours. I'll pick up a few of those. They've got a really wonderful food section in here. Food and alcohol, snacks, preserves, little Italian larder. outside and I've already found a couple of plants. Um, I'm just looking for things which have got a really lovely autumnal colour for the porch. I did think maybe some grasses might be quite nice to add for a little bit of texture as well. It looks quite dry but actually I think that would be really effective outside the front of the house. Or maybe one like this with the little wispy bits, quite like that one. I found an area where they've got some really lovely Italian terracotta pots and I may have gone a little bit overboard. I still need some slightly smaller ones for the skimmier and I can't remember the name of this but I got some last autumn and I thought it looked really lovely. I always think, are they chrysanthemums? I always think that these are very autumnal kind of Halloween style and they look so great in these little pots in fact.
to her garden centre next time and then pick up her bags of compost. I'm actually going to have to go to the till already because my trolley is completely full and then I'm going to come back inside and get some more. Okay, my loot is in the car and I'm going back for stage two, the indoor bit. I'll try not to get quite so carried away this time. <laughs> I love these. green and gold theme. Beautiful. Fenella, one of our favourite characters, coming back for 2022. Honestly, I could spend all day looking at things I never knew that I needed. If you're thinking about getting some wool to protect your plants from the frost, I would highly recommend just getting a box of all plants because they actually package um, the all plants meals in this kind of insulation. We've got some lovely bits here if you wanted to make your own dried floral wreath. They've got the heart-shaped frames, the little bunny tails, the dried poppies and, and the preserved branches like you'll find in my flowered displays. Pampas, hydrangeas. Okay, I was much more self-restrained the second time round and all I got was this little jug which I think will be great for my various flower displays. Um, I now have a car full of plants and I'm getting rather peckish so I'm gonna head home and enjoy my Dells with salads and then we'll do a little bit of, oh I need some compost. I might have to stop somewhere else on the way home and get some compost um, and then we'll get making our autumn porch. And before I sit down at my desk, because once that happens, I'm just there for the rest of the day, I'm going to do my autumn porch and a little bit of potting. So, the bits that I got from Burford. Uh, this lovely little, do you know what, something that I bought, I just checked my receipt. One of the plants was, oh, oh my goodness me. I'm sorry, I did not realise. <laughs> this silly little berry item, £60. £60. That, that is actually annoying. There is no way that I would have purchased this if I'd have known that this tiny little item was 60 pounds. Just check the receipt and I was like, what? What? Anyway, I'm gonna pot it and I'm going to look at it every day 
and appreciate his beauty for that amount of money. Uh, I'm going to pop these in some little pots. I think hidden away behind the greenhouse I have got some nice old pots. Um, I like using bits like this for autumn porch displays as well. I've got this big one here and maybe I'll take, yes, it's a bit of a dump in here. It's just going to remain this way until I get my lovely shelving. Um, my lovely mandarin tree, which Charlie got me, needs potting in there. Oh, and I also received, I ordered this ages ago. It is a Sarah Raven bulb lasagna kit. So we've got loads of bulbs in here, which probably at the weekend, to be honest, I will plant up in this little basket. And then in spring, you get a lovely selection of bulbs. And then I also, from Burford, um, got this with the intention of using these little bulbs, also just picked up from Burford, um, to do my very own bulb lasagna. So the idea of a bulb lasagna is basically, instead of pasta, you use soil, and instead of um, mincemeat, <laughs> you use bulbs. And it's a really good idea to use crocuses and tulips, or, um, Dicky! Or, what do you call it, those little, I can't remember what they're called now, um, you know the things that I mean, I'll put a picture on the screen here. So these flower in April, these flower in February, March, so this little container over here will basically, throughout the whole of spring, just be a glorious display of colour, and they look so, so beautiful. I'm always very grateful in spring um, to have some colour in the garden or in the greenhouse. Ah, oh, and the sun has come out, this is absolutely perfect, but um, first I need to see what my little boy is howling at and then get some compost. Bunny. Ooh, let's see if we've got any apples that need picking. Diggy. <laughs> Someone's already had a nibble at this one. That is just postcard perfect. Look at the amount of crab apples we've got on the arch. It's so beautiful. I couldn't recommend a crab apple any more highly. This time of year, laden with berries. In spring, you get the beautiful blossom. Look at this. Our birds will not be going hungry this year, my goodness. Right. Borders looking fabulous. Oh, Dexy. So this is how we're looking at the moment. It's definitely missing something and I can't quite put my finger on what we're missing but I think the grass looks really good. I've actually not repotted the grass so it's still in its grey plastic container hidden away behind there. I think these are really effective and these are all coming out into, um, into flower. Love that. Love the purple leaf on this. I think this is actually part of the sage family and then we've got this little corner over here with the pumpkins and the other um, what do you want to call it? Chrysanthemum. So yeah, it's looking good and I don't feel the need to, you know, finish it today. I think it's a case of when I see things just building to the area. So yeah, I think that's another good part done, but I think maybe we need something tall going up in the corner there. We shall see. 
I think this is my favorite mini transformation. Instead of the three little pots of sage, sorry, rosemary, which were on here before, we've now got the bits freshly potted, which I picked up at Burford. Um, and I just think it's a really nice little autumnal cluster. Hopefully these will see us through into the winter. We also have a view of this table from the kitchen window. So even if it is a miserable day and we're not actually spending time outside, we still get to enjoy the lovely vista. I can look at my ridiculously expensive silly plant every day. Okay, I've had a very quick outfit of the day switch up, partly because the outfit that I was wearing for gardening is now absolutely filthy and I need to do a few loads of washing this evening. Um, and secondly, because this gorgeous little sheepy jumper has just arrived from both and Blake and I just want to wear this for the rest of the afternoon. I think we're going to take the boys for a little walk. So I've popped on this, which honestly, <laughs> it's just adorable. I actually stopped, I pulled over at the side of the road driving back from the garden centre because there was so many little sheep in the fields and they just, they looked like they were glowing in the autumn sunshine. Um, I can just tell this is going to be one of those things that I absolutely live in. Um, as like a cosy dog walks, Sunday roast at the pub, that kind of thing, knit. Um, and then my most wonderful Fanka leggings, which when they're not in the wash, they are on my body because they are so fabulous. They're super supportive, high-waisted, booty flattering, um, anti-microbial, so I love them. This is my outfit of the day for the rest of the afternoon. I'm trying to think if I have anything else to report and share with you. Maybe I'll go and see what is in the blogger mail basket for today. I just made the mistake of going and sitting at my laptop and suddenly a couple of hours have passed, but I still need to do a little bit of editing. So I think I'm going to wrap the vlog up very shortly, but a couple of bits which did arrive today. First of all, I have just popped these on straight away. We have this year's absolutely gorgeous, super soft slippers from Nice Cream London. I just absolutely adore this brand. They make the best slippers. They're such, it's such a lovely gift and really nice to support a small brand. They are super duper comfortable. So I am very grateful to Nice Cream. And these slippers, <laughs> unlike my Holland Cooper ones, which I go out in the garden in, they do not leave the house. They are my best, <laughs> my best slippers. I've also had a top up of the balm from Manicurist and this is one of those products that you can use for many different purposes including your lips you can actually put it in your hair as well but I don't personally do that and it's really good on your cuticles Ooh. I would say it's almost a kind of dupe of the by Terry Balm de Rose as well in fact it literally is a balm of rose. <laughs> also in the post today we have got a new cleansing oil from Clé de Peau. As with all of their skincare I'm sure this will be the most sensational cleansing oil that I have ever tried. I just ran out of my Elemis downstairs so I'm going to give that a go as my next cleanser. Looking forward to taking my makeup off later today. And we have got another beauty advent calendar. This is the m &S beauty advent calendar which is always a very very good one I think we have got some info here so worth over 300 pounds wow it's gonna be only 40 pounds that's actually insane I feel like it will probably already be sold out by the time I share this clip but if not I will leave it linked down below um Oh, okay, it's £40 when you spend £30 on clothing home and beauty in store or online which, let's face it, is very easy in m and If you're struggling, just get some thermals. Brands in here include Origins, This Works, Emma Hardy, Nooks, Lumine, Ren. Wow, so many amazing pieces in here. And it's a really beautiful calendar. Let's have a little look. So you've got all of the little items individually boxed up in here. Let's just have a little sneak peek behind day number one. Got something here from Ren. Dark Circle Eye Cream. Oh, <laughs> I need some Dark Circle Eye Cream. It is a mini size, but it's a pretty good mini size. It's big enough that you get long enough to try the product to realize whether you love it or not. Um, 
and whether you want to buy it again. Let's also just have a quick look behind day number 21. Emma Hardy Midas Touch Revitalizing Smooth Evenly Over Face and Neck Avoiding the Eye Area. Revitalizing Cream Hydrating, Decrease the Appearance of Fine Lines, Improve Firmness. I bet that is amazing and you get to try it without buying a full ginormous and potentially fairly pricey version. That is what's so good about these Alain Candas. This one does always sell out so I feel like a tease even mentioning it because if this video goes live on Thursday it's probably already gone but hopefully it won't be. Hopefully it won't. Let's manifest that it'll still be available. And then finally we have got, is this a collaboration? Naked Urban Decay Palette with Robin Eisenberg. Discover your inner cosmos with a limited edition Naked X Robin Eisenberg eyeshadow palette and out of this world spectrum of 12 shades. Ooh. I used to use Naked 3 every single day. I always thought they were such good value for money. Oh my gosh. This is literally your Christmas eye sorted every single sparkly shade you could possibly desire. I am so boring that I literally am just looking at these three shades being like, yes, that is what I will use. But how gorgeous, I feel like that, that one could be really stunning. Mango Sun, ooh, I wanna try it. Oh, I just cleaned my brushes, <laughs> so I can't. How annoying. Mmm, Mango Sun, Foxfire really beautiful shades. I feel like this would be such a wonderful stocking filler. God, I can't believe we're thinking about Christmas gifting already. And there was so much Christmas stuff at um, Burford Garden Centre though, it's got me very excited. Anyway, my darlings, I'm going to go and do a load of emails now um, and some editing. I feel like this video is probably already quite a long one, so my darlings, thank you for watching. Do give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Ooh. And my battery's about to die, so perfect timing, darlings. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.